Hello YouTube, this is Krenos43 with yet another out of the box. This time, it is not a role playing book, it is not a collectible card game, it is miniatures! Dungeons and Dragons miniatures, Lords of Madness. The MRP on these boost uh, on these quote unquote boosters is $21.99. Look how big this is. It comes with six miniatures. One of them is guaranteed to be huge. In other words, it's going to take up nine squares on a dungeon map. We opened up some of these at the local game store today, and there were some really nice miniatures in there. Now let's see here. These are going to be a lot. This is going to be a lot easier to open than that ice crown box that I opened. <laughs> All right. The beauty part too with these miniatures is that they eat. That every one comes with a stat card for the role playing game in the box. So let's see what we get here for pieces. Just the light on the lamp so that way I can read the base. We begin with a Kenku Warrior. It's kind of cute. Let me see here if I can get... there we go. Kenku Warrior. Medium-sized humanoid of some kind. This looks promising. We've got a Shard Mine Dominator. This is one of the first, this is the first Shard Mind Mini that has been made for D&D Miniatures. The other one is a Deva. Oh, we got ourselves a large piece. An Astral Giant. This is pretty big. Large piece. And uh, it is an only an uncommon, as noted by the diamond on the base. As Kranos43 noisily puts that on the desk. We follow that up with a human mercenary. Okay. Couldn't figure out what the heck that last word was. Black clad, carrying two swords. And the last non-huge miniature is something with a bow. Oh, I'm an orc archer. Orc archer. Now... What makes these, now, these, there is a huge mini in here. It looks like the box is empty, but underneath this cardboard is where the huge mini is put. And this looks kind of promising already because it is covered in cardboard. It is, a, what the heck is it? It is a trebuchet. A catapult. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a little bit of a cold. Let me see it. Trebuchet unloaded. Trebuchet loaded. Oh, basically, it's an additional, uh. It's basically something to add to an encounter. Thought it was animated. <laughs> but anyway, yes. $21.99. You get five miniatures that are either small, medium, or large sized, and one that is huge. And you get a nice little box. That's really it. Um, it wasn't going to be a big, big, uh, big video. But yes. So next week, hopefully, I will have some decks for the new Legend of the Five Rings setup. Said this for like the last five videos. 
and then we've got the Dungeon Master kit coming out in October and Scars of Mirrodin also so hopefully I'm gonna have those two things to do videos for a uh, couple things I do want to mention somebody asked me on YouTube or somebody asked me over AIM actually am I gonna do video games the answer is no the reason being is because I have a very specific taste in video games and I personally think enough people do video game reviews as it is so I'm personally not going to do video game reviews too and I was also asked if I'm going to do any other games besides Dungeons and Dragons, World of Warcraft, Legends of Warcraft. I might, I haven't decided yet. Um, really the only other role-playing game I play right now is Pathfinder and there really have not been a whole lot of books released for it yet. But we'll see. So anyway, Dini Miniatures Lords of Madness. Um, I did hear that there's a Beholder thing coming out soon. I'm definitely picking that up. But anyway, uh, there you have it. I hope to see you next time. Peace out.